Aptiv's phone as a key team has been developing a project focused on replacing the standard car key with a smartphone. To present our system, we built the Cyber Security Demonstrator, which among other technologies contains the phone as a key entry function in the vehicle. When approaching the car, both the car and the phone send radio frequency-based signals called ultra-wideband. These signals determine a physical distance between the phone and the car. We're setting up multiple transmitters around the car with fixed and known coordinates. We can measure all the distances between the phone and each transmitter. Next, we calculate the precise location of the phone moving around the car based on the laws of geometry. This final calculation is conducted by the body control module inside the car. Ultra Wideband focuses on high resolution timing. The resolution is, in fact, so high that we can obtain how much time it takes for the signal to travel between the devices. Now, since we measure the time and the speed of light is both known and constant, we can calculate the distance. And that is how the devices know their exact position. You can say there are already localization systems based, for example, on Bluetooth transmissions. But Bluetooth was never designed for such a purpose, and it's unreliable. For example, the way you hold the phone will affect the distance measurements done by the Bluetooth. On the other hand, ultra-wideband is very reliable and safe. There is only one way to hack the ultra-wideband ranging principle increase the speed of light. Therefore, ultra-wideband is resistant to all kinds of conventional cyber attacks, including relay attacks or men in the middle, both of which legacy vehicle access systems suffer from. Future vehicles will be equipped with a few ultra-wideband radio transceivers counting from five up to eight. They will be located both inside and outside of the car and connected to the central unit containing the NFC reader as well. The usage of the system is as easy as the usage of the vehicle infotainment system for playing music or making phone calls. Once the phone is connected to the vehicle, it becomes a hands-free car access system. In case of lost connection or low battery level, there is an emergency option to access and start the vehicle with use of NFC reader. Apart from regular car users, the technology can be used for car sharing or direct delivery of groceries to the vehicle and many, many more. The level of the security applied to the system is comparable to that required for credit card payments. So we are working on the system to be as safe as possible. With this in mind, we think that the phone as a key feature will become a new standard in car access systems in the coming years. Mm -hmm.